Triumph Vitesse 6 1962 to 1966 Michelotti. The Triumph Vitesse was introduced on May 25, 1962, reusing a name previously used by the pre-Second World War Triumph Motor Company from 1936 to 38, and was an inline six-cylinder performance version of the Triumph Herald Small Saloon. The Herald had been introduced on April 22, 1959 and was an attractive two-door car styled by the Italian designer Giovanni Michelotti. Within two years, Triumph began to give thought to a sports saloon based on the Herald and using their six-cylinder engine. Michelotti was again approached for styling, and he came up with a car that used almost all body panels from the Herald, combined with a new front end with a slanted forehead lamp design. Standard Triumph fitted a 1,596cc version of their traditional straight six derived from the engine used in the standard Vanguard 6, but with a smaller bore diameter of 66.75mm n, compared with the 74.7mm n, bore on the Vanguard, equipped with twin Solex B32 PIS semi-downdraught carburetors these were soon replaced by B321H carburetors, as the accelerator pumps proved a problem. The curious observer will notice a seam on the cylinder block between the third and fourth cylinders revealing the humble design beginnings from the 803cc standard SC engine block first used in the standard date of 1953. The gearbox was strengthened and upgraded to much closer, more sporting, gear ratios, and also offered with optional Laycock de Normanville D-type overdrive that offered a top gear with a 20% higher ratio, the equivalent change from 3rd to 4th in a standard box, giving more relaxed and economical cruising at the expense of slight oil drag from the pump in the overdrive unit. Models fitted with overdrive had a chrome badge with overdrive and italic text on the left side of the boot opposite the Vitesse 6 chrome script badge on the right. Synchro mesh was present on 2nd, 3rd and 4th. The rear axle was changed to a slightly upgraded differential, but retaining the same 4.11 to 1 ratio and flange sizes as the Herald. Front disc brakes were standard as were larger rear brake drums, and the Herald fuel tank was enlarged, retaining the handy reserve feature, essentially a curved pickup pipe that could be rotated to dip into the last few centimeters of fuel, of the smaller Herald tank. The front suspension featured upgraded springs to cope with the extra weight of the new engine, but the rear suspension was basically standard Herald, a swing axle transverse leaf system which quickly proved inadequate for the relatively powerful Vitesse. The chassis looked similar to the early Heralds but in fact was substantially redesigned and strengthened, especially around the differential mountings, and these improvements were immediately passed through to Herald production. The dash and instrument panel of the earliest Vitesse was the same as the Herald, with a single speedo dial featuring fuel and temperature gauge insets. The Vitesse was available in convertible and saloon forms, a coup never got beyond the prototype stage. The separate chassis construction of the car meant that no additional strengthening to chassis or body was considered necessary for the convertible model the only concession being additional door catches to prevent the doors opening during hard cornering. The gearboxes of all the Vitesse and GT6 models were a weak point being derived from the earlier Heralds. The increased power caused accelerated wear on the bearing and forward end of the main shaft which would eventually wear through the hardened surface, leading to large amounts of play between the input and main shafts. This was characterized by growling gear noise on acceleration and deceleration in first, second and third getting high in each gear as the torque transmission from the lay shaft moved further from the rear of the box where the bearing support was intact. Repair involved either a new main shaft or metal spraying, stellite repair. Some engineers suggested repairs were more long-lived than the new shaft as the technology 10 20 and more years after manufacture meant that the repaired main shaft had better specifications than new old stock. The remote lever construction suffered from the same regular bushing whereas the Herald Spitfire etc. where sloppy gear change and rattling can be cured, easy DIY job, with a kit of new parts. A handful of Vitesse estates also were assembled to special order as standard Triumph's service depot at Parker Royal in West London.